Have you bought an Osmo Mobile gimbal and been disappointed with the stabilization? Or found that you can't film in cinematic mode? In this video, I'll show you when and how to use the camera app that comes with your iPhone with your gimbal. Let me start by clearing up a potential misunderstanding. All of the fundamental abilities of the gimbal work just fine with the Apple camera app. Axis stabilization and all five follow modes work just fine without using MIMO. So if you want to film scenery while riding your bicycle and get nice steady footage, just use the native app and have at it. Second, all the buttons on the gimbal that control it work as expected with the native camera app. You can center your camera, switch between landscape and portrait, change the follow mode, or use the joystick. You can even start and stop recording video. What you can't do is the fine camera controls. Most importantly, you cannot use the zoom focus wheel, so you cannot do smooth zooms or manual focus pulls. You also cannot do tracking using the native camera app because most of the active track code is in the MIMO app itself. Less importantly, the buttons for switching between the front and rear cameras does not work, nor does pressing the switch button three times to switch between photo and video recording. The good news is you can do this directly on the native app touchscreen. There are a number of important gimbal settings, like joystick or follow speed, that work with the native app. But in order to change them, you must use MIMO. The most important setting is calibrating the gimbal so that your horizon is level. You must do this with MIMO, but the calibration is good for the native app. The MIMO app cannot do everything the native app does. Cinematic and action modes are not implemented in MIMO and may never be, nor is filming in Apple Log on the iPhone 15. Critically, the video image stabilization, particularly at 4K60, is far superior in Apple's app than it is in MIMO. Well, the good news is Active Track does a great job of keeping the subject stable. So if you're using tracking, your video will look great. So, to summarize, when should you use MIMO? Whenever you're changing gimbal settings, like follow speed. Use it for tracking. I have a whole video that shows how well Active Track 6.0 works. In fact, it works well enough that even at 4K60 it overcomes the issues with stabilization. Use it for smooth zooms or manual focus pulls. In all other situations, I recommend you use the native Apple camera app because your footage will simply look better. In particular, use the native app whenever filming 4K60 without tracking because MIMO's EIS cannot keep up at that data rate. Go ahead and use the gimbal for cinematic mode shots. Unfortunately, some things are just not possible. You cannot use the zoom focus wheel in cinematic or action mode, and you cannot film Apple Log when the gimbal is tracking. That's it. Hope this video helps you out with your new gimbal. If it did, click like or subscribe below, or leave me a comment.